How much do photographers make? Well, that is a bit of an open-ended question, but I could understand the curiosity after seeing articles like this one and this one. Well, photography is one of the top 10 most popular jobs in America, and it has steadily moved up since 1990 when it was number 13, according to jobs in the 90s.com. Well, that's not true, but it has grown in popularity over the years along with how much somebody can actually make being a photographer. So how much photographers make varies based on several factors. The type of photography, the location, the skills needed, not just the technical skills, but all of the other skills that make somebody a good photographer. First, let's talk about the type of photography and as any photography enthusiast knows, there are many different types of photographers, just as there are many different types of people who love to take pictures with their smartphones, who consider themselves photographers as well. But look, there's just too much different types of photography to mention in this one video. And of course, I want to find the ones that are most lucrative. But I really narrowed down this list based on that, as well as some I just don't know about. I mean, I researched some of them for you. Then there's some that I just don't have any interest in researching. Hey, it's my video, right? Please don't unsubscribe. Actually, subscribe if you haven't done so already. If I left out any in the list that you may be interested in or want to find out more about, then be sure to let me know in the comments below. That said, we'll be looking at commercial photography, fashion photography, wedding photography, and real estate photography. According to Eerie, 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 Eerie.com, what kind of name is that anyway? According to them, commercial photography salary is an average of $56,681, which breaks down to an average hourly rate of $28 an hour. Well, keep in mind that this is for the United States, and it states here that it can range from between 42,000 on the low end to 71,000, almost 72,000 on the higher end. What is interesting is that it's projected to increase to 68,000 by 2026. You know what? Let's just use a more popular site for the average salary information. Let's go with something like ZipRecruiter.com. So the commercial photographer on ZipRecruiter is just a little bit below what it was before. So let's call it 52,000 now. This can be for several reasons, but according to Business Wire, a lot of that growth is mainly due to the companies rearranging their operations and recovering from COVID-19 impact. As you would recall, there would have been a lot of closure of commercial types of activities, which are starting to open back up now. Businesses need to get back on the map. Brands need to get back on the map. So it would make sense that they would be reinvesting in their business and their brand through commercial photography. If we look at the next type of photography, which is fashion photography, it seems to be a little bit lower coming in at $41,354, which is about $22 per hour. And of course, location of the work would play a big factor in this. For example, you won't expect a fashion photographer where the job is based in the countryside to pay as much as one based in the city. You know what I mean? Also, the average per country varies. As you can see here on salaryexpert.com, you can easily check on the average by country. And upon checking it, you'll see that it's already based on your currency. And as we're currently talking about fashion photographers, one of the highest paying photographers in the world is a fashion photographer, Morgan Norman net worth is over $10 million. Imagine how much he charges. Next one is particularly high at an average of $104,000 per year. That's a wedding photographer. Great wedding photographers are not cheap. They can be really expensive. I know, I used to be one. A reasonably priced one, that is. Maybe my skill was tied to my price. Just kidding. I was really good. I can show you. Okay, sorry, that's as much as I can show you. You know how some clients can be. Plus, I didn't charge that much, so I can't afford to get sued. Fourth one is a real estate photographer, which averages at $60,520 a year. This one is interesting because while it can be as low as $18,000 per month, ZipRecruiter is seeing annual salaries as high as $210,000 a year. Just like the other types of photography mentioned, with real estate photography, the price you get paid for a job can vary a lot. It comes down to the willingness of the client to pay the price for quality work. If money is not a problem, then it's just to be associated with that high profile photographer. Oh no, not me, maybe this guy. It's only so much of a role that the type of photography that you offer plays, as well as your location that you offer it. What really is most important 
is your ability to market yourself and to sell your services. And I've tried my hand at several types of photography, from wedding photography to portraits to family shoots to events, commercial photography, and even real estate photography. Believe me when I say that a photographer could be ridiculously good. He can have amazing work, but that doesn't necessarily mean he's making a lot of money. Fortunately for me though, I had some experience in online marketing and advertising. So I was able to put some of the things in place like with a website, Facebook ads, a good portfolio and some promotions to get hired and then get paid for my work. Compared to some guys who have a lot way better looking photography than I had to offer. But this is not about me, it's about you. Is photography a good paying job for you? Because it's either you're curious about that, whether it's a good paying job for you, or you're just curious about how much photographers make. Either way, there are some lucrative photography jobs, keeping in mind that the work varies a lot, and then the amount of work and the time that you take to do a job and then get paid could be really different. For instance, even though a wedding photographer can be paid so high, when you compare it to the work of a commercial photographer, in most cases, the commercial photography may not be as time sensitive, tense like as a wedding, when you're not as much in control of what is happening. I know for a fact that some weddings could go for 12 to 14 hours long, which is probably why the average is so high. Whether you are deciding to do this or started to do this as a side hustle or as a full-time job, I would highly recommend to focus on building your best portfolio and of course continuously updating it while focusing on one main social media platform. Get a website and unless you're in the game for a long time, stick with one type of photography. This is so that you can become an expert there and eventually raise your price so that hopefully one day you can make as much as this guy. Who knows, in a follow-up video I might find you in the first page charging like $1,000 per hour. But to answer your question on how much do photographers make, that really depends upon specialization, experience level, place of business, years in business or freelancing, and other factors such as whether or not they work part-time or full-time. Based on the factors that we spoke about in this video, there are many things that truly determine how much money photographers make. And you know, even if you were just curious about how much photographers make and you're not a photographer or anything like that, but you like content like this, then don't forget to subscribe and check this video out next, where I talk about some side hustles that you can get started with today and how much you can make doing those things, how much people make. So I'll see you over there.